stars, take a trek through a prehistoric jungle, tour a house that has not yet been built. It's called virtual reality, and as Jay Schaefer found out, all it takes is a special helmet and a glove, and you're off. What's up guys, Eric here with the Hall Herald. Today we have an exciting video for you. We're going to be going over VR on the HoloLens. Everybody's obsessed with VR or Windows Mixed Reality or whatever your flavor of uh, entering a virtual world is. So we decided we would explore VR on the HoloLens. Most people are surprised when we say you can actually do it. Depending on your term or your definition of VR, maybe it's not, maybe it is. We're not really going to argue what it is or what it isn't. We're just gonna say it's uh, an image being overlaid and you being put in the space so that's all you can see is your virtual world. For the sake of this video, that's going to be our definition. For this video, we're just gonna be exploring how it works on the HoloLens and some of the apps that incorporate this technology. Our next video, we will be comparing it to WMR, a point system, which one comes out on top and let's get into the video. So we're gonna start with the least advanced VR experience on the HoloLens and work up to, in my opinion, the most advanced experience, uh, VR experience. Let's go ahead and we're gonna start with VR for Windows. So this is a, uh, I can't tell if those are Japanese or Korean or Chinese. They look Chinese, but I get Japanese and Chinese confused a lot. Uh, they share a lot of the same characters, that's why. Anyways, we're in this VR app. Uh, quote unquote VR. Like I said, let's not get into a big battle of what VR and AR is. Um, my VR, for, for sake of simplicity, I'm just going to use VR as I feel like I'm inside of a certain space, a virtual space, and most of my FOV is taken up by the space. Uh, all right, so this is a very simple VR experience for the HoloLens, but a good one to start out with because it's very similar to the Windows Mixed Reality Cliff House, in my opinion, or the uh, Steam VR House. Most, most VR apps have this form of a house that you can just walk around in and select your apps. This one's where you can just watch, I believe, VR experiences. Uh, we're not going to get into any of that. We're just going to walk around this space. So it looks really nice to me. The resolution is quite good, especially when not recording. Now, you have to take everything we see right now with a grain of salt because when you're recording, it takes up a lot of the processing power on the HoloLens, makes it glitch out a little bit more, and the frame rate kind of is terrible. When you're not recording, the frame rate is really good, and uh, the resolution actually gets bumped up. So when you move your head back and forth, it doesn't lag out that bad. You can see I just did it, and there's probably a little bit of waving on the side. Uh, that's not noticeable to me. That's just the camera trying to map the holograms to the walls. Now this uses slight spatial mapping, more as an anchor point to help me walk around. Now, we're not gonna compare this to a traditional VR system or a dedicated VR system in this video. We're going to do that in another video. So for the time being, we're just gonna go over how VR works on the HoloLens and what it's like. So it's quite nice. You can walk around. You can see the, the ground stays right there. So um, we can do a little practice. The books are, I'm gonna put the tripod right where the books are. In my perspective, I actually don't even know if you guys can see the tripod. I can barely see it right now. But anyways, it's right there. So let's see how good the mapping is. Looks as I go around, it moves off it to the left a little bit. This is because it's using spatial mapping. This is more because of the anchor point and probably because I'm recording. So, I mean, it's like a foot off. It's decent. Not quite as good as, say, uh, a Vive with towers, but good. So you can see this little white thing right here. This is a controller. This is actually cool. I can hold up my hand and you can see my hand is mapped as a controller. So I can try and click on things. It doesn't do anything right now, uh, but it actually tracks my hand pretty good. As you can see, as I wave my hand in front of it, it does a pretty darn good job of keeping up with it. Go fast, even keeps up with it fast. I think I can do two hands. Yep, there's two hands. 
that's quite cool. So no peripherals needed, just your hands. All right, let's go ahead and jump to the next experience. All right, sorry if the view looks a little bit different than normal. This app does not like to record traditional uh, with the camera. It doesn't work. Anyways, but let's just jump into the experience. It's the same from my perspective. It just might look a little bit different for you guys. This is Holotor. This is one of the flagship apps that came out with the HoloLens. Um, it's quite cool. So I, I can see all my surroundings right now and you can see them over there. Anyways, let's jump into the app. We never record, we never, we never made a video about this app because we couldn't figure out a good way to record it, but this is as good as time as ever to show it off. Anyways, I'll probably cut to the VR experience now. Look at this painting I brought. All right, it's here the we are. Piazza Navona, a place where Roman artists have gathered for centuries. Ciao is how you say hi in Italian. Go ahead, give it a try. Ciao. Perfect. You'd fit right in. In fact, rather than just staring at this painting, let's go see Rome in real life. A city that's been home to emperors and artists, popes and gladiators, and as you can see, lots and lots of tourists. So, where should I begin? Well, when it comes to Rome, you quickly realize that stunning relics of the past are everywhere. Believe it or not, we're standing above the site of an ancient Roman stadium. To your right is a cool poster. Have a look. Yeah, there it is. That's a photo of this piazza taken from above. Now I'm going to draw the footprint of the ancient stadium over it. See how the piazza still follows the same shape of the race track? Yes. The layers of the eternal city go deep. Let me show you just how deep. This part's incredible. Watch this. Whoa. This is actually incredible. This is one of my favorite experiences on the HoloLens. To date. And it's a VR experience. In quote, quote, VR. Down there is where the Stadium of Domitian stood. 20 feet below us. At the peak of the Roman Empire, they hosted spectacular sporting events here. After Rome fell, the population plummeted from a million people to less than 20,000 during medieval times. Over the centuries, places like this got filled in with dirt and rubble. I've got to get rid of this hole before we lose a tourist. Anyways, uh, hopefully she gets muted if I turn this all the way down. Hopefully that's not coming through for you guys anymore. Sorry if it is, I'll probably just mute it and do a voiceover. Anyways, so this is a really cool VR experience, and this is actually available on Windows MR as well, that we will be comparing the two in the next video, side by side, so you could actually see the different experiences. Now, this is going to look almost 100% VR to you guys, uh, because it's we're not capturing the camera feed, but uh, I see through it. Not, not a lot, like, I'm looking at Austin right now, you guys won't be able to see him, um, but I'm looking at him and I can clearly see him and like hold up a hand with how many fingers? I can see you have like five fingers up right now. So it's a very uh, see-through for me in, a, in an all right way. Like I can focus on the VR and the holograms and not see anything behind me or I can choose to focus on the stuff past it. It's nice if you're in a small surroundings or if you're outside, it's an anywhere kind of experience. And you can see the HoloLens does a pretty good job keeping up with it, actually. Resolution's nice, the uh, the tracking is nice. This one actually uses spatial tracking. Before I started, I start, made a little circle around me, and you can see as I walk closer to the painting, it walks with me, and now here's my new space. So I probably have like an eight foot space that I can walk around and experience this. This is a really cool app and really showcases VR on the HoloLens and how in the future this could actually be a, a quote-unquote dedicated VR device. And we're talking quite a bit in the future. There's obviously FOV issues and resolution issues and battery life, blah, 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 frame rate. There's a lot of stuff we can compare, but not into that video. 
All right, let's move on to the next experience. Here we have Arcology. This is a great example of VR on the HoloLens and really showcases the scope and scale you are able to achieve. Check out our videos on it to see more. The reason we picked this for the VR video is you can really see how well the HoloLens handles large spaces and its processing power and its capabilities. We cover this app in two other videos really in depth. So if you want to learn more, go ahead and check out those. We're not going to waste your time with it here. It's a really cool app, huge scale, wandering around an open world. It's really awesome. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? Prism by Object Theory. We just barely made an app going over this entire app and it has a pretty cool VR segment. I would not consider this a VR app by any means, even though it will soon work in Windows Mixed Reality, uh, but there is a cool VR-esque experience. All right, so you start in the app in a AR-like experience. Uh, we've gone over this. We have a whole long, long video on it. Go check it out. It's really good, and it goes over all different types of experiences and points. Anyways, let's just jump into the full-scale mode. Look at the floor and air tap to teleport to the highlighted location. Now I just wanted to uh, take a couple notes for people looking to d develop apps similar to this in the future or experiences similar to this. Anyways, we still have Terry and Alex. I think I will leave them there. Anyways, so we have a full scale size house. As I move around in my VR space, I move in real time. The anchoring is much better in this one than in the uh, Chinese one. There's a table here. I'm going to go ahead and walk around and I'm going to try to shimmy between these two. And it feels very real. Graphics are good. Uh, frame rate is really good. This one is much better optimized than the beginning experiences. And it's got one of my favorite features where I can hold up my hand and teleport. This is something Arcology doesn't have or any of the other features. And this is something we are very used to in VR applications, but we rarely, rarely see in any type of HoloLens or other AR-esque applications. Let's go ahead and uh, teleport to over there. Let's go over here. All right, it's very easy to keep your balance. I've noticed that about Arcology and some of the other ones. It's really easy to uh, get lost. All right, let's jump to the front of the table and let's go downstairs. This is a, a very cool experience and I would love to see more apps utilize this technology on the HoloLens. There's so many pros and cons to a VR experience on the HoloLens, and we will be covering those very soon. But these are a few of the different types of VR-esque experiences on the HoloLens, and I'm glad we could show them off to you guys. We've made lots of different videos showcasing some of these apps, but not a video dedicated to it. And we always talk about how uh, a good AR headset will be able to achieve a good enough VR experience for most people and we do not think we are far off. That's our opinion. You guys can let us know if you guys disagree in the comments below. I'm sure most of you will, but we love VR. We love AR. We love every reality there is and we just like to compare them and see what each one has to offer. Anyways, I think this has been good enough to cover all the bases. We'll jump to the outro. We will soon be releasing a video comparing the HoloLens to a dedicated VR system. It's really comparing apples to oranges, but it'll be interesting to see how they stack up against each other with their current technologies, price ranges, and a consolidated system versus something backed by a PC. It'll just be exciting. If you wanna see that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you guys can be notified when that comes out. And we thank you guys for watching. We love you and have a nice day. There's one thing he was definitely serious about.